Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us just quiet ourselves in the presence of the Lord and begin to just worship God. Worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you. We glorify your name. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to wash us and cleanse us again, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this new week that you have given to us, Lord. Hallelujah. We take it one day at a time. We're thanking you for today. For this is the day that you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Because we are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We thank you, Lord, for your shed blood on Calvary. We thank you for what you did for us, Lord. Hallelujah. The ultimate sacrifice. Oh God, we humble ourselves before you and lay before your throne. Hallelujah. Have mercy upon us, Lord God. Have mercy upon us, Lord God. Lord, forgive us of all uncleanness and all unrighteousness and all sin and word, deed, and thought. Forgive us, God, when we didn't do it the right way, the way you wanted us to do it, Lord. Lord, forgive us when we didn't think the way you want us to think, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We come with repentant hearts today and ask you for forgiveness, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for those that are sick mentally. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus and our family and our loved, loved ones and those that we know close and far away, Lord, we ask you, God, to help those that have mental illness and addiction illnesses and whatever illnesses they have. Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord God, that you will deliver and set free, Father, in the name of Jesus. We bind up the curse of alcoholism, drug addiction. We bind up the the smoking and the drinking and everything, Lord God. We bind those curses from our families and loved ones and friends in the mighty name of Jesus. And we ask you, Lord, for the victory in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind up every generational curse. We bind up every lie that was spoken against any one of our family members in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, to cleanse us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, cleanse our family members, cleanse our friends, cleanse our neighbors, cleanse our loved ones of any issues or situations that they're going through right now father we ask you lord to correct lord and make things right in our lives in the name of jesus lord god and those that are sick physically we ask you for deliverance we bind up sickness and disease from any one of our loved ones and friends and families and co-workers and anyone that's close and dear to us father we bind up illnesses and sicknesses and diseases right now in the name of jesus and we ask you lord to release your healing virtue into our friends family and loved ones and co-workers and neighbors and those that we meet lord that have issues i pray for people lord god that's going through surgery right now in the name of jesus i pray father you will touch their bodies from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet lord i pray god you will give them deliverance father in the name of jesus lord as those surgeons correct correct whatever is needed to be corrected i pray you will touch the their hands as they touch the person that they are operating on i pray in the name of jesus you will give them precision in their hands, precision in their minds, precision in their spirit, Lord God, that they will be able, Lord, to operate with, with the spirit of excellence, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, God, that you will touch those that, is go that are going through heart surgery this week and those that are going through kidney surgery this week and those that are going through brain surgery this week. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you, God, 
God have touched their mind, their body, their spirit and gave them total healing, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that their surgeries will be successful in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray, God, that those that didn't go under the knife yet, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, you will give them total healing that the surgeon will say they do not have to go under the knife, Father. I pray for your total deliverance of your people in the mighty name of Jesus, healing and deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. And Father, tonight, most of all, I bring the people in Afghanistan before you, Father, and the, and the fallen soldiers, Lord, that were killed in the war in the land of Afghanistan, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, for the bereaved families. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will touch the mothers and the fathers, the sisters, the brothers, the auntie, nieces, and nephews, Father, that are grieving in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you will touch and heal their minds, heal their bodies, heal their spirit, Lord, of the loss of their loved one, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray you will touch their hearts, help them, Lord, to make it through this situation that has happened to them, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, God, with your stripes, they are healed in their minds right now, in their body and their spirit, and you will give them comfort, Lord, and you will lighten up the load and the heavy burden that they are carrying right now in the name of Jesus. I pray all their loved ones, Lord God, will be touched by your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus as you comfort them, Father, in Jesus' mighty name with your comforter, the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray, Lord God, for all those that are in Afghanistan right now, I pray for them in the name of Jesus, Lord, for their safety. All the Americans and all the women and children and the innocent babies and those that are innocent people in the land, I pray for them, Father. I pray for their safety, Lord. I pray for their deliverance from out of Afghanistan safely, Father. All the Americans and all those that are scheduled to come home, I pray in the name of Jesus that they will come back to the home in Jesus name safe I pray God that you will touch the land of Afghanistan even right now in the mighty name of Jesus father and I pray God that you will send your rulership and leadership Lord that will correct everything that needs to be corrected in their land in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for divine safety for the women and the children and the innocent men and women and children that are there. I pray for the divine protection, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that you will send your ministering angels to the land in Jesus' name, Lord God, and touch the land and heal the land. I repent for the land in the name of Jesus of Afghanistan, Lord, and I pray, God, that you will deliver them in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. I pray for Haiti also, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for peace and safety and for the children and the women and the innocent men, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray, God, for the entire Middle East, Father, that you, Lord, will make right the, the countries, Lord God, that are not right right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, I pray, God, you will touch the land, Lord God. And that you would take away the bloodshed and the killings and bombings, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your Holy Spirit, Lord, will take full residence and presence over these lands, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And bring your holiness to this lands, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our country to... United States of America, Lord God, I pray, God, that our leaders will make the right decisions, Lord God, and that everything will line up right in the name of Jesus. I pray there will be no more bloodshed in the mighty name of Jesus. But I pray, God, that there will be healing in all the lands, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, God, you will help those lands, Lord, that are out of control. I pray, God, that you will help to bring peace, Lord, in the name of Jesus, into these countries, Lord God, that are going through, especially Haiti, 
in Afghanistan, Lord God. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, God, you will touch and heal and deliver in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And God, touch all our family, friends, and loved ones, Lord, in the name of Jesus once again. Lord, go in our homes and put a searchlight into our families, Lord God, and correct what is not correct, Lord. Root out and tear down every unclean spirit, every unholy spirit, every unrighteous spirit, Lord, that will come against us and our family members in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Surround us with your ministering angels, Lord God, that no weapon that's formed against us and our families will prosper. Every tongue that rises against us, we condemn it in judgment in Jesus' mighty name. We pull down every unclean spirit that is also itself against the name of Jesus Christ in our lives. And we ask you, Lord, to make our family members line up with you, make our homes line up with you, make our jobs line up with you, make our country line up with you, Lord. Lord, straighten the world out, Father, in the name of Jesus, as only you can, Lord. And we need to dwell in that secret place and abide under the shadow of the almighty living God, even right now, more than ever. Hallelujah, Jesus. We reach out to you, Lord. And we ask your Father for God for your grace, your mercy, and your peace in your lands, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Good night, Sister Norma Brown and Sister Claudette Black. God bless you both. We're going to go into the word of the Lord now. I greet you in Jesus' mighty name. I hope you're having a pleasant, beautiful Sunday. Hallelujah. We're going to look at dwelling in the secret place of the Most High God because we need that scripture more than anything. Because right now, we're just hearing so much on the news. And there's people going through so much. And we got to remember that we got to remain in the secret place of God. He's the only one that can keep us safe. He's the only one that can keep us from harm and danger. So let us meditate on the word of the Lord tonight. We're going to go into Psalms 91 and we're going to meditate on dwelling in the secret place of God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn your Bibles to Psalms 91. Dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He, in Psalms 91, that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwelleth in the secret place. Where is the secret place? Hallelujah. The secret place is in the Lord. Hallelujah. And here is where we are admonished in Psalms 91 to abide in. So that we will dwell under the shadow of the almighty living God. There's no other secret place that we could dwell in where we can have safety from the enemy. So the Bible says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When we abide in Jesus Christ's secret place, we are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty living God. He sent his son Jesus to prepare a place for us. And he said, if he prepare a place for us, he also going to come back to receive us. But while we are waiting, we have to wait for him in that secret place, abiding under the shadow of the almighty living God. You see, his shadow is a protective place. Hallelujah. And when we abide there, we are safe. The Bible says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. God is our refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. God is our refuge. He's a place where we live. 
And when we live in Christ Jesus, we are in a place of safety. Hallelujah. We are in a place where there's a fortress around us. Because he said he will place his ministering angels around us and they will bear us up lest we dash our foot against the stone. So there is a fortress around us of protection, divine protection. And when we dwell under the shadow of the almighty living God, we are dwelling in that place, that secret place of safety. Hallelujah. But we got to trust in God in order to receive that, that peace and that joy and that place of quietness in a time of storm, in a time of troubles, in a time of trials, in a time of hearing the news, in the time of people losing loved ones, in a time of situations that don't look so good. We know that we have a place to go. We know that we have a place of safety. We know that we have a place of divine protection and that's in Jesus Christ. When we abide under the shadow of the almighty living God, we have a fortress built around us. Yes, the enemy may, may throw things at us. The enemy may say things to us, but we are in a place of safety when we dwell in a secret place of the most high God and dwell under his shadow. Hallelujah. You see, when we dwell under his shadow, we are shielded and protected and hidden from the enemy that he can't even see us. He can't locate us. He just throw things out there to try to make us shaky and wobbly. But when we abide under the shadow of the almighty living God, we don't get moved. We don't get shaken. We don't get rattled. We bind that spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. We cast it out. Loose it from its assignment against us in the name of Jesus. And we walk in victory and courage because we dwell under the shadow of the almighty God. We get the strength we need because he replenishes us. He protects us and then he guides us to the next step. Hallelujah. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. The snare of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. Yes, it's there. But God will deliver us from it. But we got to dwell in a secret place. That divine protection keeps us protected from the noisome pestilence and the snares of the fowler. So we don't have to worry. Hallelujah. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. He covers us with his feathers. That puts that shadow over us. Where we're covered under his shadow. Hallelujah. And under his wings shall thou trust. We trust that God is our divine protection. We are under his divine protection. His wings are covering us at all times in all seasons. Hallelujah. His truth, the word, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. We have the truth. When the enemy comes at you, you give him the truth, the word of the Lord. This is the sword of the spirit that will, will fight off any bit of doubt, fear, unfaithfulness, any bit of anything that comes our way. We have the word of the Lord for every situation, everything that could come at us. We have the word of the Lord to fight with. Hallelujah, because we don't wrestle with our hands and fists. We wrestle against principalities and powers and, and spiritual wickedness and high places and rules and darkness of the world with the word of God and with the whole armor of God we put on. And we got the word that tells us what to do. One of the things the word tells us to do is to dwell in the secret place of the most high God. To dwell under the shadow of the almighty. Hallelujah. We don't have to walk in fear. We don't have to walk in discouragement. For what we hearing on the news and what we seeing. We are built up in the Lord. Built up with the courage of the Lord. To keep on pressing towards the mark for the prize of the high calling. Which is in Christ Jesus. Not letting 
anything pull us down, but allowing the Holy Spirit to elevate us up into the presence of the Most High God as we dwell in his secret place. Hallelujah. And his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. That's right. The truth is your shield and your buckler. We deflect the enemy's arrows with the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 5 says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, because God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Perfect love casts out all fear. When you perfectly love God, you will not fear nobody else but God. You see, the holy reverential fear of the Lord is all we supposed to have. We are not supposed to be afraid of person, places, or things. Because we stand in the victory for which Christ Jesus has made us free. Hallelujah. So therefore, we, we will not be afraid for the terror by night. Yes, we are seeing terror by nights all on the news and in the communities and everywhere we look. We see in terror. But the word of the Lord said he shall cover thee with his feathers. Hallelujah. And we don't have to worry. Because we are under God's wings. Hallelujah. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. Hallelujah. We stand strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Because when the arrows fly at you, you have your shield and buckler, the word of the Lord, to buffet those arrows and deflect those arrows that are being sent against you. Hallelujah. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. There's a lot of pestilence walking in darkness. Because they refuse to come to the light. But the Lord says for us not to be fearful. The Lord says for us not to be afraid. We are to walk in our Christ likeness in all times and in all seasons. Nor for the arrow that flieth by day are we to be afraid of. Nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. We see destruction. We see pestilence. We see all kinds of stuff happening right now. We see the snare of the fowler. But the Bible says that we are to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And when we dwell there, we dwell in a place of safety. That's called the ark of safety. Being in Christ. Hallelujah. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness let those pestilence keep walking in darkness because people who walk in darkness can't see so they stumble and fall but we are walking in the light the way is illuminated for us through Christ so we have nothing to be fearful and afraid about the Bible says in verse 7 a thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Isn't it happening now? Thousands are falling by the wayside. My God, they're falling thousands and 10,000s at thy right hand. But the Bible said it shall not come nigh thee. Yeah, they're falling. They're walking in darkness and they're falling. Thousands and 10,000s of them. But the Bible says it will not come nigh you. Because you're dwelling in that secret place. Abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. The Bible says that the wicked is going to have a reward. So those that are wicked to you, they're going to have a reward. Your job 
is to stay and remain in the secret place, abiding under the shadow of the Almighty and doing what the word of the Lord says. This is your shield and buckler to deflect all that the wicked would send towards you. Hallelujah. Verse 9 says, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. See, this is the prerequisite. If you make the Lord your refuge and your habitation, this is what you're going to get. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. If you dwell and abide in the secret place of the Most High, the Bible says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. Take that personal. Make the Lord your refuge. Make the Lord your living place where you dwell and live in. And you are guaranteed that because you do that, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, my habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. No matter what the enemy tries to throw at you, the evil will not work. The plagues will not work. Because the Bible said, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. N meaning that no plague is going to come where you live. And no evil going to come to you, no matter who is sending it or how they trying to send it. It will not come to you because you abide under the shadow of the almighty because you made Jesus Christ your dwelling place. Because you made Jesus Christ your refuge, the place where you run to in times of trouble and times of no trouble. We run to God in all seasons of our lives. And he promised that because of that, because of that, there shall no evil befall thee, neither, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. So we have nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. We can sleep in peace and rest in peace. Hallelujah. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. That divine protection that he sends, the hedge of protection around us and our families, because we abide in him. You see, if we don't abide in him, we cannot reap the rewards of abiding in the Lord. Hallelujah. We're not abiding in the Lord for nothing. There is a cause and an effect. Because you made the Lord your refuge and you made him your habitation, a place where you live, you have the reward of divine protection, angelic protection, supernatural protection for you and your family where you live. Hallelujah. That's what the word of the Lord says. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Hallelujah. When we read the Bible, Thou is me, and and thy, you put in me and you. You put me and you in there, because this word is for me and for you. Because you has made the Lord, which is your refuge, even the most high, your habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any play come nigh thy dwelling. You had to believe it and receive it. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. All thy ways. Meaning when you're on your way to work. Meaning when you're on the bus. Meaning when you're on the train. Meaning when you're at work. Meaning when you're around your house. Meaning when you're on the block. Meaning when you're in the supermarket. No matter where you are. Hallelujah. You got divine protection. Divine angelic protection. There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come. Not thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. The angels are there to keep you in all your ways. They're there. 
You may not see them, but they are assigned. God has the divinely assigned the angels to keep charge over you in all your ways, no matter where you are, where you go, they're there to protect you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 12 says, They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Their assignment, the angelic's assignment, is to bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against the stone. They keep you from getting hurt. Hallelujah. Angelic, divine power. Supernatural protection is assigned to us who dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. Hallelujah. A stone is hard places. So they bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. Lest you dash your foot against a hard place. And aren't we in some hard places right now? Yeah, we in some hard places right now. That's why we have to dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And those angels he have assigned to us, they bear us up in their hands lest we dash our foot against a stone. Lest we fall and crumble in those hard places. Trying to do it on our own. Trying to do it outside of God. We have to stay in the presence of the Lord. We have to dwell and live in the secret place of the most high God. Hallelujah. Verse 13 says, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. That means those mean, evil people. Mm, that's only wanting wickedness for you. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. The Bible says that we're going to trample them under our feet. All those that wishing praying and saying evil to us and speaking evil against us the bible says that we shall tread we shall tread upon the lion and the adder those snakes and those evil people and them dragons speaking evil things against us and our families we bind and loose cast them out and we remain in the secret place of god because he said we 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 will have the power to supernaturally trample all the evil under our feet. Hallelujah. Because he hath set his love upon me. Hallelujah. Therefore will I deliver him. When we set our love upon God, he will deliver us. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. God will set us on high because we have known his name. We know his name. His name is Jesus. Call on his name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. When we call upon Jesus, he will answer us because we are his. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Jesus Christ will be with us in trouble. Isn't there trouble in the land now? Jesus Christ will be with his believers. Hallelujah. He will hear us. He will answer us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said he will honor us. He will deliver us. With long life will I satisfy him. He said he will give us long life. And he will show us his salvation. We don't have our own salvation. We have the salvation of God. We have the salvation of Jesus Christ. There's no other salvation but salvation through the name of Jesus Christ. And we have to dwell in his secret place. There is no other secret place that can keep us safe. There's no other place to live that would be an ark of safety other than the secret place of the most high God. Jesus Christ dwelling place. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening and may you be strengthened and built up in the name of Jesus and encouraged in your spirit to keep on pressing.
keep on using the word of the Lord to deflect all negativity and all negative words and anything that will come against you that would try to cause you to weaken down that would try to cause you to be depressed or discouraged or or a coward or or afraid use the word of the Lord use the sword of the spirit that God have given to us this is not just a, a book to read this is a word of life all of it is the word of life God's holy word this is spirit and life and truth use it hallelujah and see how God will change your life turn things around for you things that look the worst for you just change right before your eyes supernaturally for he gives his angels charge over thee to bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against the stone the hard places he will make those hard places soft for you that you're able to bear it. God bless you, Gentle Breeze Worship Ministries. Thanks you for sharing in the word of the Lord and prayer with me again tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you and have a wonderful, lovely, victorious week. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord strengthen you. Amen and amen and amen. Good night, everybody. God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Sister Michelle, God bless you. Sister Michelle we Meeks and Sister Claudette. Black and Sister Norma Baron, thank you for coming on and giving me support tonight. God bless you. Love you all. And those in the background, God bless you too. Have a wonderful, victorious.